Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Todd Koontz. The hunt is on for the thieves who disabled a pair of buses in Idaho Falls. As Local News 8's Evan Thomason tells us, the theft is taking a big toll. Thieves targeted these buses owned by Teton Stage Lines this past weekend. They got away with two very expensive catalytic converters. Drivers with Teton Stage Lines discovered the theft Sunday afternoon. One of our drivers went to the yard uh, in Idaho Falls yesterday afternoon because she wanted to take the bus to her house. The complaint was that it, an engine light had come on and it didn't sound right. The catalytic converter filters out toxic gas coming from the engine. Teton Stage Lines operating manager, Nathan Harrington, says they are at a critical part of a very expensive component of the school system. I have basically a $45,000 bus times two of them that can't bring in any revenue. They can't even operate because the engines will derate because it notices that it's missing those components. There's no way to bypass them at all. He estimates it will cost $14,000 to replace the two parts. Finding replacement parts is also creating another speed bump for the business. I hope that we can get them out of Vegas within a day or two, but the scary reality is, is it's probably going to come from back east and or maybe months before we see those parts. Now, there could be a lesson from all this for all of us. Police say protecting our cars takes more than just closing the windows and locking the doors. I mean, you can't necessarily lock up this type of car part that someone goes and, and physically cuts off of the vehicle. But, um, you know, if, if people are aware of what's going on around, they're talking to their neighbors and, and making sure that they're reporting suspicious activity um, or, or vehicles and people that don't belong, that's um, probably the best thing that people can do. Reporting in Idaho Falls, I'm Emma Thompson.